Well, hi everyone, we're going to take a look at some Mega Blocks Call of Duty brick sets, I think we'll call them. My son got very keen on these. Daddy kept seeing them at a very good price, so we decided to come in and buy some. The first set we'll take a look at is the Infantry Battalion set. It's a bit like a minifigure set, although they are not minifigures. A bit strange, there was that version there, and then there was also that version there. Can you see the difference? Can you spot what's going on? Well, I'm not sure why, but this boxing here has this extra detail here, where th this boxing doesn't. This one up here it says Call of Duty. It's got collector series there, yet this box here doesn't. Oh, the box artwork on these boxes is glorious. I think that's what sucked my son in. There was one of the guys in there, nearly said minifigure. He was residing in that plastic bubble there. We could put jelly in there and make a jelly soldier or a gummy soldier. And of course, the identical boxing is there. And most notably, and what's interesting is, there it is there, 98 pieces for ages 10 plus. Now, I'm not sure what the 10 plus is referring to. Maybe because it's a military theme. My son doesn't know this game. I actually don't know the game either. We just thought they looked like very, very cool brick sets. And also, they were at the right price. Mega Blocks is always on special in our part of town. Now, let's take a look what's going inside that tent there. Um, they just... What are they doing in there? They, they just <laughs> disappeared. That's loading. That is... <laughs> they've oh. just deployed. Well, the set had a tent there. It's pretty basic. You can see how it's built. There's not much to it at all. But then again, it is somewhere for the little men to hide out when, well, when they want to hide or do silly things inside a tent. The figure set in this is awesome. There's all sorts of details going on here, all sorts of trinkets, and it's very, very nice. Yes, these figures with all the little military accessories uh, impressed my boy, and they also impressed Daddy. So there were four soldiers in this pack here. There was also four weapons as well. And the tent, of course, that we looked at, there was also a couple of spare backpacks here. And inside here, one guy's just taking a tumble there because war was too much for him. We've got little tools and things which are sort of nice to play with. There's a shovel there. It looks like a drinking flask. And I think that is a gun in a holster. And while that guy's having a rest on the ground there, it'll give us an opportunity to come in and manipulate him and show you where he moves. He's got articulation, sort of just like a real human articulation like you won't find on a Lego minifigure. Uh, guns that you'll probably struggle to find in Lego sets because but really Lego can't do military. And we won't get into that argument on this video, please. Um, you can see on his flak jacket there, whatever you want to call it, you can clip on bits and bobs. He's got a, a belt there which you can also clip things onto as well. You can put a backpack on his back there. He really can be accessorized and ready for war. And because he sort of can fall apart in bits and bobs, you can do a very sort of nice thing to him, which I'll just simulate right now. Let me just get him ready for it. Imagine there's a big bomb and you end up in pieces. Well, you can have a guy which is, well, basically in pieces. Uh, just a reminder, there's nothing pretty about war. And I know you'll ask, well, Leo, how does it compare to a Lego minifigure? Well, let me set a Lego minifigure in there, and really, there's a chalk and cheese shot, if ever you want to see one. And really, when looking at the head and face, again, how can I make any sort of comparison? But I know there'll be people who'll struggle with these sets just because it's not Lego. I'll tell you what, I am actually very impressed with these. I know my son loves them. If you like some toy soldiers that are sort of very realistic looking and very playable in the way they move and everything. I think that's a perfect thing. Let's take a look at another set. So that was the stunning Call of Duty Mega Blocks Infantry Battalion. I like it, my son loves it. The next one we're gonna take a look at, and it's already doing a start, is the motorbike breakout set. The back of the box looks like this. It's showing a bit of gameplay by the looks of it. Something taken from the game. There's also a shot there of the little environment, the figure, the bike, and the accessories. Then I'll show you this trick. Show me the trick, yep. So he's... My goodness me, he's evil can evil. He's more than evil can evil. He's... Uh... <laughs> what? That is amazing. That would be a pretty heavy bike in the real world, and he's going to ride off like a hero. This was the first playset we built out of all these, and let me throw to some footage of us putting these playsets together. Well, this is the part you may or may not see. 
in this video my son's building up the infantry battalion mega block set there he's got two of the guys made up it's all little tiny bits and bobs like that there's a tent or something in that one there <coughs> he's just getting into another bag there and daddy is building up this one here the sidecar pursuit set and they are the constructions which you must look at very carefully and this is how it comes out from many bags that are inside that box there with the rider of the bike who is semi-built the motorbike breakout set we made it up yesterday and we're actually very impressed with that one keeping my boy nice and quiet he's just built another guy there let's have a look at that one how's he going good I haven't got the head on, he's just doing that waist area. He's got like the belt section around the middle. And the last bit on is his head. Kind of a headless soldier. The constructions for these little brick sets uh, are sort of curious because it does show you have to build up the figure. Sometimes these guys are built, sometimes they're not. There's a bit of weaponry there. The tires already put on the rims from what I can see in this motorbike set. Um, that is all the parts in this set here. Some very interesting looking parts. And then basically the build book extends out from here number one is up here and i've just find with all the mega box builds because they've got very similar colored things being connected here together you got to look at this very very carefully um the exhaust pipe system there yeah i don't know it's just one of those things i just think um lego always tend to do the build books a little bit better than mega blocks and i would even say the same with the way this is laid out, but I dare say you'll have something to say on that as well. But all that's really just an insert to this video because I don't want to get too caught up in showing how all this stuff gets built. I don't know how well you know your bikes. Uh, it's an older style of bike and for some reason he's doing a handstand on the handlebars there. And push-ups. He's obviously a very, very fit person. He's doing push-ups now. Remember, these sets were made for 10 years up. My son's six years old, but he's seen this toy in a very different way to what the designers probably thought about it. Let me come in and just show you the parts of the bike and the way the engine's been done. I like this for the way they've used little tiny parts to express the way the bike looks. The way the exhaust is done, there's actually a stand there that'll kick out. If I can get that out of my finger without pulling it apart. Here we are, the stand is out. It'll stand up on its stand. Uh, it's really nice. It, it is like nothing that you're going to find with Lego. You wouldn't be able to get a Lego minifigure on this because of how wide the bike is there. You know Lego bikes are really skinny in the middle so those legs can straddle it. Uh, you can clip on accessories onto this bike. I mean it has just got all the bike eye candy that is going to get you excited. And I'm hoping it's like what you see in the game. We haven't got the game so I wouldn't know. But as a playset when the guy's just fallen down here near dead. Um, it's really nice. And like the infantry battalion the guy curiously didn't have a helmet or anything he just came like that and his weapons are really cool <laughs> the bike's just going to trash him in a moment by the looks of it let's say, <laughs> take a look at his weapons because i thought they were very cool now this set came with two guns and what was really nice about the guns is the magazines on them can actually pull out now i don't know whether i'll be able to hold that you hold, hold it nice and tight i'll show the magazine pulling out <laughs> i can do it you can do it that's not, the whole gun's just been disassembled, okay. I thought the far reel was going to be there, but the gun, look at that, you can clean the gun properly so it doesn't get jammed up and more. Well, there are the gun parts there. Oh, it looks like he's upset. He's going to try and get his gun back. Ah, uh, there, <laughs> he's headbutting the ground now. There is the other gun that was in that play set. I mean, I really like the weapons in this set. What is that guy doing now? <laughs> What's he doing now? Please tell me. He's break dancing. <laughs> do you always play for your little soldiers like that? Yeah. You do? <laughs> there is a very small environment with this mega block set. I think it's a stack of pallets, some sort of grates on the ground, um, a garbage bin, and there's a stack of something. And for some reason, our guy's going to do a swan dive onto the bike. <laughs> okay. But there's something I want to show you about how he sits on the bike next which is very important to see, although he's going to do some more stunts by the looks of it. The box artwork on these Mega Bloks toys is beautiful. It does make you look and it does have you wondering, can you set up your figure to be on the bike to be as realistic as the box artwork? 
And yes, you can, and that is really one of the great aspects of this toy. Look how realistic that looks, and the way the figure sits on the bike there. You can get us some speed, and he can go bow into his mace there and crash and burn and fall off his bike. And I know my that's the way my son's going to play with this, but the realism of the figure on the bike there is something that I think really makes this uh, a cut above <clears throat> the other brand. I won't say the other brand, else I get in trouble. Okay, well, we'll send him back to his own place set here. Does a stunt onto the pile of pallets there and ends up doing another stunt there and my son is now setting up a proper stunt because daddy's stunt wasn't good enough there we go he's now doing a pretty full-on stunt there <laughs> wow that would hurt i think if you landed like that smash see the way children play this isn't a toy for 10 years up this is a toy for anyone and there he is doing one final stunt there, looking ultra spectacular. I don't think you'd see a Lego motorbike and minifigures doing that sort of action and stunt work. Maybe you could, but I think you'd struggle. Anyway, the last set we will take a look at in this epic Mega Blocks review is this one here. The Sidecar Pursuit, and this is also a stunner. Okay, this is a... Oh, we don't want the stunt bike in this one. Go away, go away. This is a beautiful sidecar and motorbike. It's got all the beautiful, glorious details that we've seen in the other Mega Bloks Call of Duty figure sets. I mean, it just screams, I want to play. They were little leftover bits and bobs in this set, but I'll tell you what, actually, I built this one up. I really liked building this one up, and I'm actually very, very impressed with how it looks as a finished product. Well, I've got a bit of a gun breaking out the side there. That was the gun with the set, some sort of long rifle. Someone will name it for me. There is a fuel can there, jerry can as I call them, a backpack. Uh, there's a spare wheel here and tire. It opens up. You can pack your bombs and goodies in there. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff bristling on the backpack of the guy here. Um, binoculars. I don't know what this thing here is. I think it looks like a pipe bomb. A uh, water flask. I mean, it really does have lots of detail that little ammo belt there is a clip onto the belt as well he's got his gun there it's also got a shoulder thing which is rubber that's a curious part that because it slips over the front and over the back of the gun and it's like a, a, a rubbery piece best way of saying it he's got a helmet on this guy so he's not going to get pulled over by the police in australia i mean it is just toy eye candy and it looks really nice the core motorcycle in this set is very similar in parts and build to the other motorcycle. I think what we've got going on here is less sort of golden-y parts. Uh, I think the main difference is the fact we've got a sidecar stuck on the side there. I dare say I could rip that sidecar off and put it onto the other bike. But it just works for me. It looks nice. It's very military. And I think anyone who was into a bike and sidecar as a brick set would be very happy with that and I don't think there's too many people who do anything like that apart from Mega Bloks. And it'd be very prudent to show one bike hard up against the other and you can see how they've changed the look of the bike basically by changing the colour of some brick parts. Okay well that was the Sidecar Pursuit. Uh, it's one that I really liked. Uh, I don't know whether many people are getting into these sets or not. That's sort of why I'm showing them because I think people need to get into them. Let's see some stunt action going on between those two bikes please. Well, my son's telling me that that stunt rider is training the other guy on a sidecar bike because he doesn't know how to do stunts yet. He's got to be trained. <laughs> but I'll talk about the prices of these. Um, you know, I do talk about price of what I buy on YouTube. Now, what I've always found of the Mega Block sets, and I'll probably flash up to some other footage that I've been shooting in store, is that 99.9% .9 of the time, the Mega Block sets are for sale. They are going, well, at discount prices. Now I don't see that going on with Lego. It seems Mega Bloks, who was owned by Mattel, are very keen to get these to be noticed. I think they've got some amazing box artwork going on. It's very well priced because it's basically always on special from what I can see. And let me show you an extreme example of this. Well, with some extreme bike stunts going on in the background there, the place that I want to show you with the very crazy pricing is this one here. It's the Heavy Armor Outpost. It's a tank set. Call of Duty, uh, Lego can't do tanks because they've got that thing where they don't do war themes. So you get an idea of how big or small this set is. Let me drag in a set that you may or may not know. And I'll line it right up here so even Stevens on that side there. It's a little bit taller this set than the Mega Block set. It's a Lego set there, 60080. It's at Spaceport 1. It's a rather nice set. 
In Australia, it was $129.99. There's 586 pieces in this, although I wouldn't be able to tell you that from the front of the box here. Well, I've got to say, there's a nice array of LEGO minifigures in this set. Very nice indeed. Some astronauts as well. Remember, $129.99. That is the Australian retail price. Yeah, how much do you think that set there was? It's got 726 pieces. It was $99 full retail price. It came down to $73.25, but we can go much lower than that, boys and girls. And through a special promotional offer, it came down to $36.62. $36.62 for a toy that was originally $100. I think that's a great deal, and I'm pretty sure it's going to make up a very, very impressive brick tank there. I know one thing you'd never see discounting like that on a toy like that. I've peeked into these boxes. There's not much box blow going on in those. That's something I always talk about with toys. Uh, some people might see that as a bit of a cruel comparison. Um, actually, the Lego one's a bit heavier than the Mega Box, but uh, that's what I like to do. I like to make comparisons like that because I like to see what value we get in toys. So, what have you been playing with while I was talking about boring prices and making comparisons? Oh, there's been some... What? <laughs> Where's his legs gone? The legless bike rider. And hang on, what is going on over here? That looks pretty nasty. So here are some brick toys uh, that I picked up. But basically, you get one, and the next one was basically given to you for nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, put the head in there, please. Thank you. Uh, the bikes are stunning here. It's really nice. You can see it's a lot of fun. It's very realistic if you like real as well. And uh, for some reason, people don't touch this stuff, and the price gets decapitated when it's not Lego. I'm really glad we looked at these. Uh, we've had a lot of fun uh, building these playsets and everything. Uh, my son really likes them, even though they're not for his age group. <laughs> Maybe I can sneak a thumbnail in of that, uh, of that wolf. Is it a Minecraft wolf? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what we say at the end of our videos? Keep watching, bye for now. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay. No more decapitation jokes, eh? Yeah. Bye, everyone. Hmm, I was just doing a bit of a tidy up and I know some of my viewers may pick this up and they say Oh, but Leo, you didn't show something that maybe you should have spoken about Yes, well this box artwork is very impressive. Look at the detailing on the sidecar here it Looks grimy, it looks dirty, it looks all painted up, but then we look at the model here <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It doesn't look anywhere as impressive as what I'm seeing on the box artwork. Hmm, I wonder why. <coughs> but then again, they're not minifigures, they are Mega Bloks people. <coughs> While that soldier is lying down on his job there, we can probably pick him. Oh, another guy's just taking a fall. <coughs> they're very unlike Lego minifigures in a sense. These sort of bend in a way like real blah blah. But it's very human-like in the way these move. In a funny way, they are very unlike LEGO minifigures uh, for that fact. And his head's just flown straight off. <coughs> so that was that Call of Duty Infantry Battalion. <coughs> <coughs> so there you go. This is a toy I picked up. Of course, it was all on special on sale. Basically, buy one, get the next one for next to nothing. Uh, <laughs> I like this a lot. Is the Infantry Battalion set. So I hope it has you thinking. Here is a toy which has got some fantastic detail. <laughs> it's uh, it's running legs off the other. <laughs> That's on the fail reel.